41 degrees, 10 to 15 miles per hour of the wind. Sunny right now, obviously the temperatures will dip. And it's national. This is, a lot of schools would trade their bowl game to have this opportunity. This is a great, great opportunity for our kids. And the opportunity on the kickoff is Derek Mason's as he takes it out. Big Tony Banks, the junior college transfer, brings out the crew. Dwayne Goldberg is closing in on a 1,000-yard season. He needs just 120 today with Banks and Travis Reese. Nigeria Carter, Gary talked about the per-catch average of the two guys for Penn State. Carter averaging 30 yards of catch in Big Ten play with Mason and Oregon. Up front, Brian DeMarco, they say the best of the crew by far all season long with Denton, Berkmeyer, Cronin, and Hannah. And a first down, Michigan State. And no gain on the play. And the Nittany Lions defensively. Todd Atkins up front. Forced a big fumble last year that helped Penn State come from behind to win. He joins Mazik, Noble, and Perry in the four-man front. Brian Gelsheiser, number two all-time in career tackles now for the Nittany Lions with Yaboa Cody and Willie Smith. And three different starters have started at the hero spot due to injury. Jason Collins gets the call today with King Miller and Pittman. No gain on play number one and second and ten for Tony Banks, who will toss it back to Goldberg, who cuts up across the 30, close to the 32. For the Big Ten stats, number two only to carry Collins with Penn State signal call. Here's his first throw on third and six. Man open in the flat with a great one-handed catch by Green. Dives ahead for the first down. That's maybe the best catch we'll see all day. First and ten, Michigan State. A give to Goldberg, who cuts back. Nice cut back and got about four up. Green's numbers, second down at six, just under 13 minutes to go. First quarter, here's Green on his first carry out of the backfield. They actually picked up a yard or two. Under the open territory, we'll see a lot of it. Second, third down situation of the game from the 45. Banks, plenty of time, wide open, Goldburn out of the backfield. Another Spartan first down right near midfield. From midfield. Whistles and flags. Dead ball. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. The junior college transfer, he says sometimes he doesn't even have enough time to study film and isn't quite sure what he's studying when he does. Scott Green. And that's why they run him at tailback. He gives them a big back option. But he's an effective player. He can do them all. Look at open and drive for the spot. They work it to the 37-yard line of the Nittany Lions. Again, Goldberg up the middle. He got five. Second down and five. Tenth play of the Michigan State drive. Green on a, on a counter, and he made it get back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. On this opening drive, which has carried him five minutes into the first quarter. At the 32-yard line of Penn State. Here comes a blitz from the corner. Banks stands in, fires. Got it, man! It's going to be a touchdown. Derek Mason, 32 yards. We talked about the problems Penn State had in the secondary. The free safety took a very bad angle on that squaring route. Cost them seven points. I cannot expect that to happen once in a while. The extra point, Chris Gardner's up and good. So an impressive opening march takes the Spartans. 73 yards, capped by the touchdown throw. It's 7-0 Michigan State. Brad Costello will kick off. Mike Archie and Ambrose Fletcher back deep. Archie runs up on it at the 12-yard line. And Archie bounces across the 25. Here's how the starting lineup looks. Brian Milne in for John Whitman, who's out with a bad ankle. Kajana Carter and Collins are both All-Americans. So is Kyle Brady, best tight end in the country. He's made two All-American teams already. And Ingram and Scott, the two wideouts Gary talked about. Excellent group up front. They really move their feet well. They're not as big as some groups, but they pull well. And Hardings is the leader with Conlon, Greeley, Rivera, and Johnson. Congratulations. Did the lineups before they scored, Brad. <laughs> Usually it takes them about 217 to put points up. And nothing doing inside. No gain on the play against Michigan State's defense with Juan Hammonds. Ten tackles for loss leads the team, and he's one of the captains with Jackson and Person in a three-man front. Some impact players in Reese and Garnett, but Matt Christensen, the coaches say, has been the most consistent linebacker. Yakini Allen rounds out the linebacking corn. Demetrius Martin leads the Big Ten in interceptions with seven. Calendar, Shirelles, and Manson join him in the Michigan State secondary. No gain on the first play, and Penn State has it second down at ten. Carter. Across 
to 35, given nine. Ike Reese, which he's the top back in the country per carry. You saw the 7.7. Third down at short. Flags down as Carter is going to be close, but again. Offside, Michigan State gives Penn State an automatic first down. Michigan State comes up and challenges us. We're going to throw the ball. There they are again. Yeah, they're bringing it up right now. Collins may have made the adjustment. He will throw. Quick slant. Freddie Scott to the 44-yard line. First down at the Spartan 44-yard line. Hot balance line to the right. Which is the way they go with Pijana Carter. Carter to the corner. Met at the corner and knocked out of bounds. And made a nice stop there. Carter didn't get anything. Second down at 10. Scott in motion. Collins going to wheel and flip it out there to Scott on a wide out screen. Got a block from Carter and then got tattooed at the 37. It was always to them. <laughs> I never heard him suggest a fullback play. Let's see if Freddie called his own number. Third three. Carter. Oh, he and Collins run into each other yeah. on the exchange. And he... Gets called for a nice acting job. Got it in the end zone by Derek Mason. First quarter. Barton's from the 20. Long handoff to Goldberg. He got about three out of it. We got a little bit of bright orange mixed in with the navy and white out here. Banks in trouble. Down he goes. Way back at the 15. Mazik is there. So is Noble. Like to run a lot of draws in the situation. Their third downs have been good, but they haven't been third and 15, which is what they have here. Three wide outs. Banks in trouble again. He scrambles for his life, and now he'll take off, get what he can, and he almost got enough for a first down. Two yards short. Mike Archie's back deep for Penn State. Nice handling of the low snap by Solani, and a good kick as well. Archie at the 30. Mike Archie got 20 on the return to midfield. Penn State from midfield after the nice punt return by Archie. Nice play fake by Collins. Got some pressure fires wide open in the flat. Brady is tight end. And the All-American works his way down to the 10. Spotted by the guys in the truck, Ed Place and Mark. Oh. There you see Mike Archie on the 30-yard line put his knee down on that play. Penn State got 20-yard break. And after that break came the 41-yard catch ball. Inside the 20, first of the Big Ten, as you saw. Their second and goal at the seven-yard line. The John Carter is going to score. Four of 55 on extra points this year. Make it 55 of 56. Three minutes, 21 seconds remaining. First quarter. Nittany Lions have drawn even. <laughs> the kick. Derek Mason's been an excellent kick returner. Single season record for Michigan State, in fact. Broke the tackle here and got out to the 25-yard line. That's the way to end the conference. We'll all finish at the same right. time. Right? <laughs> Tied up at seven. Spartans from the 25, and it's Goldberg. Well, you heard the crowd with a woo. But block. I was wondering what was coming next. Third down, long three. Scott Green. He really is impressive. Report. Green's got 29 yards on his four carries. First and 10 from the 41. And pretty easily. <laughs> Dead ball. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. That makes it first and 15. Todd really wasn't sure if he was allowed to do that. <laughs> Bank straight drop over the middle. Trying to go to Bob Organ is tight end. Gelsheiser popped him as the ball arrived. He knew he wanted to play at Penn State, and he knew he would not be a quarterback. He always wanted to be a Nittany Lion linebacker. Second and 15. Banks. Well, he was waiting for Nigeria Carter to come free up. Third down and 15. Banks loads, goes the other way. Incomplete intended for Mason, and he overthrew it. 
after maybe touching his knee down on the catch. See what he does with this one. Fair catch this time by Mike. And he'll take it at the 24-yard line. <laughs> 137 left in the quarter to John Carter. Takes it out to the 32-yard line. So he could be really in the running for the Counter with Archie. Archie, a little different kind of runner. Gives you a little more of that. And he lines first down from their own 45. And it's Archie wants to throw an option. Airs it out for Ingram. Got it. And Ingram's going to score! Touchdown! <laughs> Up and good. obviously throws it better than Kajana Carter. But I thought number two, Robert Terrell, could have come over while this ball was in the air and made the play. He went for the tackle and then just made a poor tackle. Two men miss. Pretty good defense. Neither player made the tackle. Penn State scores. By the touchdown. Nice kick. Mason, a yard deep, will bring it. And he got a crease. Derek Mason outside. Derek Mason. He might go. Derek Mason, 100 yard touchdown. Holy cow. Well, he did it faster than Penn State on that one. That only took about 12 seconds. <laughs> Looked like Penn State may have jumped offside. Dead ball. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Shot for Gardner, although he knocks it right down the middle again. 14-14 with 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Fletcher and Archie back deep. Costello's kick coming up, and it will be Mike Archie. He's been electrifying so far today as well from the one. Archie across the 30. And boy, and one guy, or it would have been all over. Penn State from its zone 31, and it's number 32. Carter. Kajana's got 10. Ingram to the left. And second down and a couple of inches with 18 seconds left in the quarter. There's the play fake. Gonna go the other way. Ingram for the home run ball. A little bit too far in front. Actually, they're in the dual set right now. And it's Bill, and he's got the first down. 15 minutes of electricity is what we've had at State College at the end of one. We're dead even at 14. But that never matters when you're playing Penn State. You can ask Gary Barnett Northwestern last week and what happened. We're tied at 14. Collins off play action. He got hammered as he threw, but he got it to Freddie Scott on a crossing pattern. And Scott's out to the 31-yard line of Michigan State. There's Collins' numbers. Here's the counter to Kajana Carter. Kajana Carter already 52 yards, the touchdown on the ground. Bobby Ingram in motion. Ingram gets it wide out of screen. Trying to weave to the end zone. And he got all the way to the one. Everybody wants to make a big play. A minute into the second quarter. Like first and goal. Like good and goal. For the touchdown. Brian Mills, eighth touchdown of the season. They're easy to call, they're just tough to stop. In quarter to get another touchdown. Conway's kick, up and good. 13.57 to go first half. The Nittany Lions with Brian Mills from a yard out. Back in front by seven. And on their way to Pasadena to meet the Ducks of Oregon. Conway squibbed one down the field, scooped up by Mason. 
Again, waits for his blockers well. Derek brings it out across the 35 to the 36. They'll work from their own 36 yard line. Carter in motion. And maybe a yard, that's about it. For and they're not going to be able to play isolation football the whole game. Second down and nine. Banks wanted to bootleg it out. Now he's in trouble and got it to Scott Green. That's the guy to get it to. Green to the middle of the field, and he's all the way to the Penn State 48. Career high seven catches in the win over Purdue. That one got Michigan State a first down. Here's the flip back to Napoleon Outlaw. And Outlaw brought down. You have to put pressure on their defense. That's their weak point. You have to score, not hold the ball. So far today, Michigan State's done a pretty nice job. Here comes Green, and he's got another first down. This time on the ground. I like that first down call of hitting the quick screen. Here's first down again. Goldberg following his blockers, and Goldberg got the corner. And Goldberg knocked down at the 21-yard line. Holding on the offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. It had to be downfield down because field. spot of the foul brought it back only the 36. It's first down and 11. They didn't lose much. And here comes Green to the 30. Scott Green, we approach 11 minutes in the half. 21-14, Nittany Lions. Second and five, Spark Goldberg straight up the middle for a first down. First down at the 25. Banks, the quick out, completes it. Down to about the 21, only a pickup of about four to Muhammad. They let him survive, not today. Second down and seven. Toss to Goldberg. Goldberg running hard. Tracked down by Yaboa Cody. And Dozier and Green in their dual backfield. Third and three. Dozier. I don't think so. And now we might have a big decision coming up. Fourth down at about two feet. Goldberg. the hit by Yaboa Cody and the recovery by Willie Smith. And now the offense has it back. First down for the 20. And Collins comes up fire to Bobby Ingram. And he ripped off 26 more yards. Gary Collins maybe had his shakiest game of the one we did against Indiana. Today he is sharp. Six out of seven and 144 and a touchdown. To John Carter with a cutback to the middle. To John Carter to the 33 yard line. Somehow shoestringed him. John Carter came in averaging 7.7 a carry. Hasn't hurt the average today. Here's his replacement, Archie, who gets inside the 30. We've got 7.44 and the clock runner. Penn State by a touchdown here in the second quarter. Collins whips it out to Archie and read well. Nice stop by Carl Reed. Third down and nine for the Nittany Lions. Collins. Bobby Ingram, no flag. Fans want to run it. 49 yards. Conway, 9 of 11. His best is 39. On the way. Got a lot of leg and got it. Brett Conway, 49 yards the best for him this year and it's 24 to 14. Derek Mason, he's already taken one end zone to end zone today. They're trying to keep it out of his hands. He's going to get his hands on it anyway on the hop at the nine. Broke a couple tackles and across the 25. Michigan State wants to stay in this football game. They're going to at least have to take four or five minutes off the clock or score. Goldberg. Wayne Goldburn outside Goldburn. the football at the 33. Scott Green, first down run. Yellowsizer has got him wrapped up. Takes a lot of pressure, that's true. Derek Mason. Hit out there by Tony Pittman. So for Penn State, he's sitting over next to Gary in the booth to our right. 
Here's Goldberg, who broke a, broke a would-be tackle in the backfield, but he doesn't get away from Jason Collins. Third down and eight. Under five and a half in the half. Banks, plenty of time. His receiver fell down. Or well, that would have been a first down throw. The play from behind. From behind, Chris Solani with a punt. Mike Garchi will wave at this one. Fair catch, and he mishandled it. Scooped up. Michigan State. Let's see, they're going to call it. No, it's a muff punt. It's play. a muff punt. It will go right to the point where he got it. Scooped up by Dante Hardy. The ruling was that Mike Archie did not touch that punt after the fair catch was called for. Watch the trajectory of the ball appear to change as he tries to make this catch. Oh, I'd say he touched the ball. I don't think there's any doubt he touched it. Came okay. down, hit his hand, and changed the trajectory and spin of the football. Penn State gets its second huge break on a punt return. Mike Archie is the only guy who really knows for sure. Second and five to John Carter. Right now, he's number two ranked Nittany Lions at a 10-point lead. Third and a yard to John Carter. First down to John Carter across the 35 onto the 36-yard line. 12 more. And that ball should have been Michigan State's right down to the 11-yard line. Instead, Penn State with the ball, the lead, and the pass from Collins to Mill, not near the 40. A lot of weapons for this group. And they can strike in a hurry, as they've done three times today. Collins off play fake. Two behind Freddie Scott. Incomplete throw for those guys. And here's Gary Collins. Wanted to throw a screen. And Kajana Carter couldn't handle it. It went through his hands and hit Marco Rivera, the guard. Scott Green back as the punt return man. Talk about having a fullback you like to utilize in different situations. Here's Scott Green on a punt return. Oh, he broke one tackle, then slipped on his own as he got up near the 34. And, and the decisions about pressure and all that kind of stuff is all part of having fun. So I was on for player. Here, the Spartans and George Perlis's last hurrah trying to tie it up before halftime. Dwayne Goldburn broke one tackle, then hit Gelsheiser. Goldburn, 51 yards on the ground. Now it's Renard with the 25 of Penn State. A minute and a half to go in the half. Banks over the middle. Now the organs have something to do. Second down and three at the 18. Under a minute in the half. And a cutback. And now maybe you want to think about taking a timeout. He's hoping for a third and two pickup here by his offense. Power to the right, and that's the way they go, and they've got it to the 10-yard line with Scott Green. So know that uh, if Penn State gets the ball any time, they'll potential to score again. And now they're grounded after they move the sticks. Down to three. They want a touchdown, but Gary said even a field goal would look good. Draw play, Goldberg. Goldberg got about four. And timeout called by George Perlis. Our Muhammad and Mason. Two tight ends set. Comes the blitz. Banks fires behind Muhammad, the intended receiver. For Chris Gardner, 13 to 20 on the year. This will be a 23 yarder with Chris Solani to hold. And he's got it up and good. With 20 seconds left. That's the problem. 20 seconds left for Penn State. <laughs> 24-17 now with 26 left first half. Costello to kick. And it's going to go out of bounds, so that's why we said don't leave any time on the clock if you can help it. Collins, plenty of time. Deep out. Ingram out of bounds at the 46 at Michigan State. And if they just play pitch and catch and don't drop it. They hustle in a three wide receiver unit. Collins with some pressure down the middle. And incomplete. And usually Ingram makes that catch. One of the best of the year. Collins has to hustle now and get rid of this thing just to give him a chance. Going deep sideline. Intercepted. Picked off by Henry. 
And Henry has got a lot of room in front now to lateral. Ball's loose, and the half will come to an end right there. I thought it was a good gamble that time. Might as well. Last play of the half. Everybody knew that. Intercepted by number 38, Peter Drazzle. First half is over. George Perlis has two more quarters to coach. The Spartans of Michigan State, he's coached them a pretty good first half, that's for sure. But Joe Paterno's troops will head to the locker room, number two in the land, and up by seven, 24-17. Big kickoff return by Derek Mason really kept them in the football game. And I really I think that's why Michigan State's still in this game. The seven points from the special team. Nifty Lions, first play of the third quarter. To John Carter. Got about three. Let's check in with Adrian. And they're playing this one for George. Yeah, they really need to stop Penn State. I agree 100% on the opening mark, third quarter. On second down, a counter to John Carter. Well, they didn't stop it here. And they may not stop him at all. Knocked out of bounds, but not before he got down. And he's putting on a show today. <laughs> He'll come left this time. Spins his way down near the 20. He might have 10 more. Maybe it's good as running back into this college football. Archie in to give Carter a breather. And they give it to Milne, the fullback. Brian Milne to the one. Ball came loose. They'll blow it dead after 19 yards straight up the middle. Whitman in at the fullback now with Kajana Carter getting the call for the touchdown. His 20th of the year. And they're starting to growl in Happy Valley. Quarter they do not. The extra point inside the left upright. And we're just a minute and 45 into quarter number three. And a flag down. It is offside Michigan State. Kajana Carter from a yard. And it's Penn State by 14. His 20th touchdown moments to go is given the Nittany Lions a 14-point lead. Great kick. With no passes. crowd getting into it for the defense. No game. Todd Atkins. The lead, 31-17. Second and 10 for Tony Banks. He's in trouble. That's a lateral. At least he got it in the hands of the right guy, but Scott Green only got back to the line of scrimmage, and it's Todd Atkins. 50% on the day for Michigan State on their third down. Third and 10. Banks over the middle, Scott Green, he'll get the first down and then some. Boy, what a game Scott Green's had, 16 yards. <laughs> Goldberg, not much. Number 27, Dwayne Goldberg. Second and nine, Michigan State. Banks has plenty of time, though. Over the middle, too high, intended for Nigeria Carter. Coverage by Tony Pittman. Fans are into it for the Nittany Lion defense. Banks. This time right on the mark. Derek Mason. He's been the big play man for the 42-yard line of Penn State. They fake the draw. Banks comes up and rifles. Another one that's going to set the nose drop. Brian Miller had it and lost it. For Michigan State. And that Miller couldn't hold the interception. Second and ten. And it's Tony Banks. Bootlegging out all by himself, but he keeps it. And he's got a first down to the 28-yard line. Times with Tony Banks, how fast he is because he's so tall and has such long strides. Those long strides got him a first down. Scott Green stumbles on takeoff. And Michigan State this drive. Taking it 50 yards down to the 28 of Penn State. Banks sidesteps, throws to the end zone. In and out of the hands and a penalty marker down. Nigeria Carter and his hands on it. Pass interference. Defense. Penalized. Pass the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. They're on the twist. Green and Renard are the setbacks for this part, but they'll come up throwing. And it's Green. 
He'll score. He's done it all. Scott Green, touchdown, Michigan State. Great, great call by Moore Schwartz that time. Watching up here for the point after, which is up and good by Chris Gardner. So the crowd quiet momentarily. Joe Paterno's troops still in front, but the lead again has been cut to a touchdown. 9.27 to go in the third quarter in a high-scoring affair. This time it's Michigan State with a score at 31-24. Courier played Agassi. I have had this one. Here's the kick of Costello to Archie at the six. Mike Archie. Across the 25, first and 10, Penn State. On its own 27 yard line. Collins off play action, deep middle, Freddie Scott. Got it. Slides out to the 48 yard line. Out to the 48 yard line. In a hurry, as they do so often. And this time the counter goes nowhere. Nice play by Aaron Jackson, the nose man. Loss of six, second down, 16. Collins got some pressure, but that's what he wanted. Screen pass to Archie. Out to midfield, got back across the original line of scrimmage. Third down and eight. Penn State from midfield. Delayed blitz coming on Collins. Double pumps and rifles it, completes it to Ingram. First down at the 34-yard line. Demetrius Martin may have slipped down in five different receivers. It really is third guy he went to. Penn State's only been sacked. Collins has only been sacked five times this year. So nobody's got too much pressure on him. Now Carter to the 29. For the Nittany Lions for 6.45 left third quarter. That's Allen Strike. He's like a runner. With Kajana Carter. Brought down by Damian Manson. Third and four here. And they might get a free five. Dead ball. Offside. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Results in a first down. See those hand signals. Sometimes they mean nothing. The John Carter on a little delay. Got about three. Really don't want to get involved. We were going senior eligible right. with our comments. And the scary thing is there's <laughs> only three seniors on this offense. Here's one of them. Collins rifles it. Completes it. Down near the 10-yard line, a strong and as big as anybody that uh, he's seen, obviously, and makes a lot of good decisions. And completes more passes than anybody else ever has in a single season, as you saw. Kajana Carter. Cuts inside the five, he's down to the three, maybe even the two. Walking into the end zone in these situations. Let's see if it's Matt Point from the three. Yep. Touchdown to John Carter, his third of the day. Well, Brad, I don't know if it's match point, but it sure did uh, put, uh, just keep answering no matter what. And his 21st touchdown of the season, and Conway's extra point is good. Long day for Kajana, but we still have a long way to go. 38-24, Penn State. Back when I was a freshman, I decided I'd do it myself instead of letting them do it every Friday. Kick. Mark Renata to four. Ooh, nice hit. Out of the 22. Well, we're, we're well into the process, as you might suspect, but like all transitions, you deal with the present and you deal with the future at the same time. Today, we're focusing on... There are those who believe that Southern Hill's dismissal was involved between a, uh, a rapport situation between the two of you that wasn't very good. Is that true? To... Right now, his team's down 14 out of third and almost three. Wayne Goldburn's going to really have to hustle. Nice open field stop by Jason Collins, and he's had several today. Solani to punt. Mike Archie back off the side of Solani's foot. A slice of Solani, I guess you call that one. <laughs> and it rolls dead at the 39-yard line. Of course, the job opportunities in the pros were from the Green Bay Packers and the New York Jets. Collins down the middle to Ingram. First down at the 46 of Michigan State. Quick one. <laughs> Exactly. Whistles will tweak. Dead ball. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty to the previous spot. Repeat the down. Yeah. You get cut a few times. It does get green, but he said 
he would coach somewhere else if that possibility arose. Collins, middle screen to Carter, broken up and covered by Juan Hammond, but I think it's going to be an incomplete pass. That, that really is incredible. Blake's coming on Collins. Stands tall and goes to Freddie Scott, and Freddie drops it. Third down at 15. Michigan State, big stop here. They can force a punt, get the ball back, trailing by two touchdowns. But they go right back to Freddie Scott, and this one he holds on to to the 29. Wow. Yep. Freddie with five catches for 89 yards now. And Ingram's had a huge day, so you know Collins has as well. And here's Mill, the fullback. They have given up chunks of yardage in the Big Ten on the ground this year. And one kind of feeds the other. You're not quite sure if their pass defense is good or their rush defense is no good. To John Carter, he draws the crowd, and he's still got inside the 20. I think he might get a first down. Third down, three links. 20 seconds left. Third quarter. Collins, I'd say he got about 12 links, at least. And Penn State at the end of three quarters on a roll. Second rank Penn State with 15 minutes away from a perfect regular season. Penn State's known what to do with it when they got inside the 20 today. At the 19, first down. To John Carter. All the way to the one. Let's see if they give Kajana a chance for his fourth touchdown of the day. Yes. He's in. Touchdown. A four-touchdown day to John Carter. As he claps to the, to the fans in the end zone right there. That missed half step, but he still drills it through. Well, he was in motion. He was moving towards the line of scrimmage before the snap. Taken by Ronaldo the goal line. And knocked down as he got to the 18. Second big tackle by Crater. Well, that is a hot man right there. The only thing that's been shining more than his head is his performance today. And now the defense starting to get in the act. Vin Stewart, who's Rick Brooks, Oregon, Oregon Ducks can come up to stop this crew. Second and 11. Goldberg. Nope. Back to the line of scrimmage if he's lucky. Jason Collins, Tony Banks on a third down and 12. Here they come. Here they come. He got away from one and lets it go. Got Mason out there and a flag down. Tony Pittman, I think, had some illegal contact with Mason. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Make that catch without the shot. That ball is catchable. First down, Spartans. Off play action on first down. It's Banks who comes up firing. Oh, nice pass. And he can throw the ball. Yep. Got that one out to him today. Some pretty good numbers. Tony's put up. At the 47, first down. Throws a quick out. You gotta have quick hands to catch it. Don't get any interceptions. We don't cause any big stats. We just play our position. Yeah, when your offense is putting up 50 points a game, that helps. Yeah. The 42 at Penn State. They'll blitz Banks. He got around it again. Now nowhere to hide. He got away again. And down goes the ball. Jeff Perry covered it. And it gives it back to the Penn State offense at the 44 yard line. Collins off play action. He wants the home run ball. Going long. Man out there. He's got it. Freddie Scott. Touchdown. <laughs> Point after. The stadium's rocking. You can tell by our end zone camera. It's up and good. 28 left in the game. The top scoring team in the country has put 52 up.
great win by a lot of points. Did the same happen in Nebraska yesterday? Well, there, we're getting lobbied by the fans in front of us. I can tell you that right now. No doubt about that. Football. Rod got back on top of it himself. Just a streak right to the outside. But don't see if you can tell that he accelerates to the ball. Watch how he runs right through it, catches it with his arms outstretched, and just goes into the end zone. That's as nice as you can throw a ball, but no one in the Big Ten this year has been able to match these guys. Michigan State now has to work from its own 13-yard line. Scott Green, boy, he's done his job today. Goes out for 9 or 10. You've got to spread out the team when you're forward. Second down. That is you. Green in trouble. Got away from two guys, but he still loses about a yard. It's third down, and now they've got to earn it all. This is a full yard. Draw play to Green. He's got the first. Across the 25 to the 27 yard line. First down. Renard. And he rambles out across the 40 to the 41. Got about 14. First down run by Renard out to the 41 yard line. Uh, Gia Carter in motion on first down. And now it's Renard again on a cutback. And Rex Kern, some of the great uh, offenses that they put together, but this is way more explosive thing. But see, they give up the yards, as you see there. Renard goes running through. Because you're specialist, you have to have it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you can outscore them, and Penn State can outscore them. Green. Well, he's got quick feet. I'll tell you, he just oh, he makes people. Up. Nebraska and Penn State, I hope they all end up on the feet, even after they're bowling. Maybe that'll force a playoff down there. Yeah. Renard cuts that side, flags down. I think we're going to have a holding call. Holding? So all I can do is throw the flag, son. <laughs> After being tied today in that great Florida State comeback. On second and 17, Banks going up on top. Derek Mason made the catch. That was a big time catch there. He's had a big time game. And a touchdown, and he's got a 100 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Well, they tried that naked bootleg thing again, and this time, nothing doing. Jeff Perry was yeah. there. Green. Green. They only got to the 11. Two to the near side. And Carter to the top of your screen. Here comes a blitz from Willie Smith. Banks got away from it. To the end zone. Touchdown. Muhammad. <laughs> Willie Smith has a shot. Three times in the game, you think he's going to learn once, that Tony Banks is going to spin out of it. Chris Gardner, high snap, handled by Collins. Or Salani, rather. Tony Banks has thrown three touchdown passes today. The last, last one to that man, but it's still 52-31. Try to get it back. And they'll knock one down the middle. Yeah, got out of bounds. Boy, that was close. Freddie Scott in motion. Here's the counter. To Johnny Carter wrapped up this time. Going nowhere. Terry Collins Day at home. And regular season here at Happy Valley is apparently over. Mill, and he's hit immediately. So it's going to bring up third down. It's through the country by far. And then Kajana Carter has had a four touchdown day. Here's the heir apparent, Wally Richardson. He comes up fire to Ingram. Bobby Ingram, 16 more. You never know. Well, that average is dipped to 7.3 now for Kajana. The big stop for no gain the last time he carried it. He'll try it again on a toss. Here goes that average back up. Kajana Carter, put down. I guess that was the play we could say it on. Conway, kick is good. Kajana Carter. This time, waits for his blockers. Takes it 50 yards for the score. With 4.44 left, Penn State in command. Brett Conway, I don't think he kicked the ball this 
many times back at Parkview High School in Lilburn, Georgia, the soccer play. This is 10th kickoff. Run on. From the five, and he slips as he got out to about the 17 yard line. And he had a great year. He's got an 18 wheeler, and he knows how to steer it, that's for sure. Closest any opponent has stayed with Penn State in this stadium this year was 24 points. That was USC. <laughs> Renard brought down by Killings again. He'll be out here running in six in the morning if they dump that on him. Banks loads it, airs it long. Nigeria Carter, the intended receiver. Salani set the punt. Oh, he almost had it blocked, and the kick went straight up in the air. And then it takes a Penn State bounce. Both of them are juniors. Archie. This is his backup, and he goes for seven yards the first time he touches it. The seniors are going to have to do it. They know they don't have to come back. That's right. Archie. Wow. Flags down as he spins his way. In. It is a holding on the Nittany Lions. Archie will try it again. I don't think he'll walk over if he's all wet. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, he's a pretty, pretty smart guy. I think he might get the feeling that they're coming and avoid it here. Archie. That's a two-mile walk home for Joe. If he gets this, especially for a linebacker that big. Might be the... Tony Banks. Running for his life, a lot of green in front of him, and he will tuck it, get what he can, and gets out of bounds near the 40-yard line with 108 year of college football, 29 of them under Joe Paterno. They will end their regular season unblemished, unbeaten, untied, and for the seventh time, unbeaten and untied under Joe Pop. It's over, and it's over for Coach Furrow. Two good friends. Joe Paterno says, I'm going to miss George Perlis in the Big Ten. He said Michigan State will miss him too because he'll be much harder to replace than they can possibly imagine. For Joe Paterno, a perfect 11-0 and heading to Pasadena. 59-31 the final 